Hello, I'm Ash. And I'm Callie. And this is the Rao Fam. So on this channel, we are going to be discussing a variety of different subjects, but the main one is our TTC journey, or trying to conceive. Um, we'll be talking about different things like appointments, things like what we're trying. Um, we've been trying for... Since we got married, March 2019. Yep. So we've been trying for about 10 months. Yeah, over 10 months now. Yeah. Um, and still no luck. Um, we'll be talking about different things surrounding that. Um, grief. Um, I lost my brother about six months ago, and um, so grief plays a role in infertility. Um, I also have a condition called adenomyosis, which is a rare form of endometriosis, so we will be talking about that as well. We will also be talking about I'll probably do a video or two about how I manage my pain for that and pain management because I was all on my own on figuring out how to manage that pain and there's very few resources on how to manage that pain. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we just wanted to quickly introduce the channel. I. Ash probably won't be on every single video. I work a lot. Seven <laughs> days a week, 60 hours plus. So, um, having him on every single video may not be feasible. Especially with the appointments we'll probably be having. Um, whether it be for f fertility specialist or OBGYN. Um, different um, things like that, of that nature, um, and we'll kind of keep you guys updated, um, and it's really interesting because I've had two different doctors tell me that because of my condition that I cannot get pregnant, and then I've had one that said, oh, no, that is not an issue at all, um, so I'm still kind of um, trying to figure out if it is an issue or not. So we'll definitely be having appointments for that. Um, we may have a couple of videos, um, from Ashton's perspective, what it's like for him, um, on this journey, because sometimes I wonder if he wants a kid more than I do. <laughs> He just doesn't necessarily show it as much as I do. I want a daughter. And I want a boy. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, but we just want to kind of open up this dialogue surrounding the subject. Because it's really lonely going through something like this. And if the dialogue isn't open, we want to open up that dialogue. We want to normalize it because there are so many people who go years, years trying to have a child and they're unsuccessful and they feel like they have no one they can talk to. So I'm a pretty like blunt person so I'll talk about taboo subjects that other people won't. Just trying to normalize the subject and that's really what we want to do. That's our goal. Support those that are going through what we're going through, whether it be they're starting their journey or they're years on in the journey. We want to support them and help them um, find a safe place to talk about it because it is really hard when you feel like you're alone. So we just want to let people know they're not alone. And there are so many times I've seen videos where these women are taking their pregnancy test and they said oh we've been trying X amount of time but really all you see is that 
that positive pregnancy test and you don't see their full TTC journey. And that gets a little discouraging too because you don't see the highs and the lows, you just see the high. You don't see the, the tears crying because you've gotten yet another negative pregnancy test. Um, so I know in the grand scheme of things, 10 months isn't a very long time, but it has felt like a very long time as we're trying because we both want to be parents really bad. So, and when you're trying to have kids, 10 months is a long time. Um, doctors typically say if you don't get pregnant within the first three to four cycles that you should go in. Um, so, we haven't yet, but we will be soon. And um, another thing we will probably talk about is irregular cycles that have been caused by the endometriosis or adenomyosis um, because that also is a huge factor of our frustration um, because it helps or it hurts it doesn't help it hurts because you don't you, it's harder to pinpoint ovulation so um, we'll be talking about things we've learned about um, ovulation tracking and how to know if you're ovulating and different things like that. Got anything you want to add? Your day pretty much cover it. So I guess he was just the cute face today. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Or a unicorn will die. And this little cute doggy is going to eat all your milk and cookies. Oh no. And don't forget to click that notification bell if you want to see more of her. Such a cute dog. We love you, Danny. Thanks for watching.